here at The Flawless Bride in Farallon, Ohio, which is just outside of Akron, and I am trying on plus size wedding dresses today. They carry sizes 16 to 32 plus, and there are so, so, so many options that I can't wait to show you everything that I'm trying on. Tell me a little bit about the wedding itself. Is there a theme or kind of like a general vibe, colors? So just... we're getting married at a venue that used to be a bank in the 1920s. So it's all marble. And um, so I guess the feel is kind of like old Hollywood. Okay. Um, I don't know that the dress needs to like necessarily fit that vibe, but at the same time, it's not like outdoorsy, boho. We're not, not, going, we're not going rustic. Yeah, so we're going kind of high glam. Um, Okay, cool. Well, let's get started then. Okay. <laughs> Hi hey everyone, this is Elise from Ready to Stare. I am here at The Flawless Bride in Farallon, Ohio, which is just outside of Akron, and I am trying on plus size wedding dresses today. They carry sizes 16 to 32 plus, and there are so, so, so many options that I can't wait to show you everything that I'm trying on. So our dresses are organized by price points. So we keep it fairly easy to follow. The most expensive is hanging next to the window, and then it goes all the way down um, towards that exit sign, and then starts again on the left-hand wall. Okay. Um, nothing in the store is diamond white. Everything is ivory or deeper, but everything can be ordered in ivory or white. So if you see a color in the store that you like the shape of the dress, maybe not the shade, don't hesitate to try that on, um, because we can order in ivory if you like everything else about it. So I have my first dress on here at the Flawless Bride. This is the Eliana, which is an Eddie K style. I picked it because it's fitted here and then layers out at the bottom. My favorite part is probably the train. I think it's so dramatic, but it's not that uncomfortable. I feel like I had that association that if you had something really dramatic, it was gonna be really uncomfortable to wear all day. And this feels like more comfortable than like most bodycon dresses. Like it's just, very easy to wear. I feel like it can easily sit down um, and it has full straps, which I really like because I can wear a regular bra. <laughs> but the back is low, so that's one thing. The back is a little low. But overall, I really like this. I think this is definitely a contender. <laughs> I love it. It looks comfortable too. Mm -hmm. And I just love the flare at the bottom. I like the mermaid style. Anything else you want to add? I think it's very pretty. I What's your favorite part? favorite part I think is how it flares out at the bottom and the train I like that the train continues without the lining I think that's unique and I think when you bustle it be very pretty so I am in dress number two this is the Ariel and the designer is Allure this dress I picked because I really liked the fabric and I wasn't really sure about the style this is a trumpet style which means that it flares out starting at like the hips area so um I personally think this is not the shape for me. Personally, I'd rather have fitted like all the way on my hips. So, um, not the shape for me, but I absolutely love this fabric. I think it's something that's like so different. And the price point on this, it's $1,200. That is a steal for a dress that is so unique. Um, so yeah, this one to me is all about the fabric. So Mama Stair had to run out for a second. So we're gonna get Casey from The Flawless Bride, who is also one of my friends, talking about what she thinks about dress number two. Um, I love the lace pattern on this dress. I think it's really unique. Um, I also like the eyelash lace and scalloping along the bottom. And I love the neckline. Um, but I think the lack of structure in this dress is really what does it a disservice. I think it would look better if there's a little bit more boning um, or maybe a stiffer material underneath. So I am in dress number three. This is the Claudia, which is a Casablanca. It is a nice like pinkish champagne color, has a lot of like appliques and there's rhinestones and beading. It has a lot going on, but definitely the thing that makes it unique is that it is a high-low. Uh, you can definitely tell in this dress that most wedding dresses are made for women who are 5'10 and up. I am 5'1", so this is basically at my ankles, whereas it would probably be like 
closer to here um, if I was taller. But you are able to order this four inches shorter, I believe. You can order a custom length. Oh, so you can order this one a custom length, so you won't necessarily have to pay so much just to get it to work for your height. So that I think is a really great feature. I think that's something that's different. So I like this. I like that the train is longer. I think it's interesting. I think this is something that's really different and I wouldn't have thought to do a high-low. I really like this one because I think it's perfect for the bride that wants something different. It's high-low. And if you really want to be comfortable in your dress and be able to dance, it's the perfect option. Um, and also if you really want your shoes to show, it's, it's a great option. It's got a lot of detail and the color is very pretty too. So we are in dress four. This is an Ant called the Antoinette. It is from the designer Allure. It is probably my favorite so far. I just feel like it's like mostly what I wanted. It has like a lot of drama. It has the horsehair bottom. It's fitted down to here, down to the um, like knee-ish area. It's, it has a beautiful train. It's just like, I think this one is almost perfect. I really, really like it. Um, I don't know what else to say, I just love it. <laughs> I love this dress. I think out of all four of them, this is my favorite. I love the detail. I, I like the way the train kind of waves. And then underneath, I like the fact that it's got an additional layer with some detail to it. So it's, it's very flattering. It's got a lot of detail. It's got a little bit of a sparkle to it, but it, yet it looks very comfortable. It is comfortable. I should have mentioned that. It is very comfortable. So I am in dress number five. This is named Addison. It's by the designer Allure. It is a princess style, but still A-line because of where this beading ends here on the waist area. It is very, very, very poofy. So if that is your jam, this is your dress. I don't think I really want a whole lot of poof personally, but I definitely feel very princessy in this, and if I wanted that princess vibe, this would totally be my dress. I actually picked this dress to try on of all the princess dresses because of this part in the back. I think that is so interesting. I just, I feel like it looks like one of my body chains I used to make, so that sold me on that. I really like this one, but not for you. It's it got a lot of pretty detail. It's very princess-like, but I just don't think it's the most flattering for you. I think it maybe so I am now in dress six. This dress is named Cora by the designer Casablanca. And when I walked into the flawless front, I spotted this dress right away because it was kind of a mermaid style and I knew that's what I wanted. And it didn't disappoint me to put it on at all. Like what I liked about it when I walked in is exactly what I like about it on my body. I feel like it's really fitted. I love the way this comes across the stomach, kind of asymmetrical. It has tulle, but it's not like you're swimming in tulle like some of the other ones. It has beading, has like this, these straps that can go on the shoulder or off the shoulder. I just feel like there's a lot of good stuff about this one. And that it has a little bit of pink showing through, but it's not like in your face pink. I don't know, I just really like this one. Okay, to me, this is very princess-like. It's very, it's got a, like an exquisite kind of subtle look to it and I really like the shape on you. I like the back, the way it fits. It's, it's really pretty, and I think when I saw it with the different veils, it was just enough glitz and glamour. So this is dress number seven, we think. We're kind of losing track at this point. It is called Amaryllis is the name, and this is actually a sample, which means that this is the last one that they have in store, and it's only available in this size, which just so happens to be my size, which is really cool to be able to try a dress on and see how it fits without any of the clips. Not that the clips really are a bad thing. It helps you see how a dress would look on you when you order it, but it is kind of cool to see how one fits just right off the rack. And I really like this. The bottom is very dramatic. My mom's obsessed with it, so you're going to hear about that pretty soon. But um, I like the beading up here. And this is a great example of why it's not a bad thing to shop off the sample rack because this is totally a dress I could walk right out the door and get an elope in this dress. <laughs> it's perfect. I absolutely love this. This is my favorite by far today. And I just, it just really accentuates your waistline. I just like the way it fits. It looks like it would be comfortable to be in all day. And I just love everything about it. 
So I really like this dress. I've been wanting to try one that has like the high illusion neckline and this definitely achieved that. This is my version of a princess dress. If I were to wear a princess dress, this would be similar to what I would wear. It has the horsehair bottom and I really like that. But to me, this feels like two different dresses. This feels like one and this feels like another. I wish there was some beading on the bottom just to kind of tie it all together. But I could see myself definitely like putting a big crown on and wearing this dress. I picked up this dress. I thought it was so pretty hanging on the wall. And I do really love the top. And I like the bottom, but I agree with Elise. It's almost like two different dresses and it definitely is not the perfect dress for her. <laughs> a toast to the bride to be. Yeah, so um, our final thoughts. We just finished with the appointment at the Flawless Bride. What do you think? I think it's a beautiful store and I loved working with Casey today. Thank you so much. And I like so many of the choices. I know. I think you've got some great you know, ones to think about. I know, I really think so too. I, I walked in and I said the only thing I didn't want was sleeves and I felt like I really didn't have to compromise and try things on with sleeves because it was all that they had. They have a big selection, a lot of different options, and everything I tried on fit. I didn't have anything that was too small, so all of their samples um, were big enough to fit me. Like I said, I'm a size 22 on the bottom and all of their samples fit me. Um, generously I would say I had room in some of them as well so I think that's a really great experience that if you're a plus size bride and you're not just a size 12 you're you know like me you're on the larger side of plus or mid to larger size you can try things on in store and don't feel like you have to just try what's available to you so I think it was a really good experience yeah I think the other thing I really loved is that the the whole I guess environment or atmosphere of the store was very welcoming warm very clean, um, the latest style, and the way they book their appointments, it sounds like it's very private. Yes, everything is by appointment only, so you're never gonna have tons of other brides in here. It's going to be like kind of intimate for you, which I think if you're someone who's self-conscious, that would be like a really big selling point. For me, like that's not as big of a selling point, but I'm glad it, that, that it's like that. I think that that's really great to offer. Because somebody might want the privacy, and it's, it's great that it's by appointment. So thank you for having us, Flawless Bride, <laughs> and um, yeah.